a revelation from running back CJ. Anson that Todd Gurley's knee injury was more severe than the Los Angeles Rams thought and disclosed, triggered an NFL request for more information from the team, a league source told Field Level Media. February 3, 2019, Atlanta, Georgia, USA, Los Angeles Rams running back Todd Gurley, 30, in third quarter action in Super Bowl 53 at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Mandatory credit, Kirby Lee USA Today Sports Gurley was not on the Super Bowl injury report. He largely gave way to Anderson in the postseason, but the company line from the Rams centered around head coach Sean McVay taking the blame for not getting Gurley more involved. Gurley missed the final two regular season games, dealing with an undisclosed knee problem, then played on a limited basis in the first two playoff games. After the Rams went through their final on-field workout Friday, two days before the Super Bowl, McVay labeled Gurley, 100%, a league source told FLM that the NFL office routinely seeks more information from teams in situations such as Gurley's. Rams spokesman Artis Timon did not confirm or deny a request for information was made regarding Gurley's injury since Anderson's comments, instead directing queries on the matter to the NFL. The Cincinnati Bengals hired New York Giants secondary coach Lou Rumo as their defensive coordinator. Bengals head coach Zach Taylor worked with Annie Rumo when both were with the Miami Dolphins. Annie Rumo, 52, spent last season coaching the Giants and was in Miami from 2012 to 17. Annie Rumo and Taylor were made interim coordinators after the dismissal of head coach Joe Philbin, with 12 games to go in the 2015 season. Put Denver quarterback Case Keenum atop the list of people surprised by the Broncos' trade for Joe Flacco earlier this month. Keenum, who signed a two-year, $36 million deal with Denver in March 2018, appeared on the Sports Spectrum podcast with his wife, Kimberly. GM John Elway called me that morning and we had a great conversation, which he didn't have to do, and I appreciated that, Keenum said. It was definitely a shock. It was a surprise for us. For us, we're definitely disappointed. It's not something we wanted to happen. I know everybody is doing their job and John feels like it was a chance to help the Broncos out. The Baltimore Ravens agreed to a three-year contract extension with cornerback Tavon Young, multiple outlets reported. Young, a 2016 fourth-round draft pick, turns 25 next month. He had one year remaining on his four-year rookie contract. ESPN reported the extension is a three-year, $25.8 million deal with a max value of $29 million, making him the NFL's highest-paid nickelback. NFL Network valued the extension at three years and $27 million. The New Orleans Saints are planning to release safety Kurt Coleman and clear more than $4 million in cap space, NFL Network reported. Coleman signed a three-year, $16.3 million deal with the Saints last offseason and was due $5.5 million in total compensation in 2019. A source told NFL Network that New Orleans was open to bringing the nine-year veteran back at a reduced rate. Former Detroit Lions wideout Calvin Johnson Jr. was granted preliminary licensing approval to launch a medical marijuana business in Michigan, according to MLive.com. Johnson plans to open a chain of provisioning centers in the state under the brand name, Primitive, according to his attorney, Michael D. Sign. This was the second time Johnson had sought approval for a provisioning center license. The Medical Marijuana Licensing Board denied his request with former Lions teammate Robert Sims two months ago, citing Johnson's traffic violations. The Broncos have informed free agent O's tackle the Matapico they don't intend to re-sign him, Nine News Denver reported. Per the report, the Broncos would like to seek a younger option at the position, though they won't rule out Pico if he remains on the market in the later stages of free agency. Pico, 34, spent the past two years with the Broncos on a two-year, $7 million deal, excelling in a run-stopping role.
the 13-year veteran, who spent his first 11 seasons with the Cincinnati Bengals, has missed just six games in his career, and only two since 2009. The Chicago Bears officially released veteran tight end Deion Sims, clearing $6 million in cap space. Sims, who turned 28 on Monday, will count only $333,334 in dead money for 2019. Sims signed a three-year, $18 million deal with Chicago as a free agent in 2017. The NFL conditionally reinstated former Buffalo Bills running back Carlos Williams after a lengthy suspension for substance abuse, according to multiple reports. Williams, 25, hasn't played in the league since his rookie season in 2015. The fifth-round draft pick from Florida State showed promise when he appeared in 11 games for Buffalo, rushing for 517 yards and 7 touchdowns and adding 11 catches for 96 yards and 2 scores. Field Level Media